Hello, mis amores. Today, I'm actually gonna be teaching you guys a couple different drinks. We're gonna be doing all of our drinks with tequila. So I do got my tequila right here. I've never tried this tequila before, so I do wanna try it. Um, this tequila for any margaritas, things like this, is amazing. I definitely love it. Um, so just a little thing about me. I'm actually a bartender, so I actually professionally bartend. And we're gonna be going over a couple drinks. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be having my brother-in-law rate the drinks. Actually, the first thing that we're gonna be starting with is a bandera shot. And it's basically just lime, tequila, and then a viuda de Sanchez. So this is the viuda de Sanchez that we're gonna be using. So the sangria that's gonna be at the end. The first one that we're gonna be doing is gonna be with just lime. I don't want that much lime. I'm only gonna be doing this much. And I'm actually at my sister's house. I'm sorry if you guys can hear a couple noises in the background. All right, so the next one that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a tequila shot. This is actually gonna help me with the count so that way I don't have to use my measure. So for one shot, it would be six counts of this. And that's our shot. Third one, we're gonna be doing with sangria. So again, it's gonna be a six count. So this is where our bandera shots look like. And they're ready. So again, this is gonna be well, three for me, three for my brother-in-law. So it's just lime, tequila, and the sangria. So the next drink that we're gonna be doing is a roasted pineapple margarita. Um, since it's summer, honestly, I think that's like the best bite for it. And then especially roasted, you know, just putting it on the grill as you're grilling your meat, it's, little, it's gonna be perfect. So on my shaker, I'm gonna be just putting some ice. Now for this, what you're gonna be needing is, as well, our tequila. So I'm gonna be doing six counts of the tequila again. We're gonna need some triple sec, and for the triple sec, we're gonna do three counts. We're gonna be adding a little bit of our sweet and sour mix to it. Right here is where I already have the mixture of the puree for the uh, pineapple, and I'm actually gonna be putting the video right here for you guys. So you guys can see all the process of how to make the puree of the pineapple. We're gonna be roast them on the grill. We're gonna go ahead and leave it there for a couple minutes. Okay, perfect. So we've left them for a good 10, 15 minutes. We did flip them once already, so I think they're all ready and they look like this. Now we have them in our blender and we're gonna be adding some simple syrup to it. I'm gonna be doing two shots of the pineapple. So if you see it, you're gonna see the puree that it's very thick. And we're just gonna be adding a little bit more. So we're gonna do like one, and we're gonna do a full two of them. Perfect, so we've put all of our ingredients in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and shake it. Perfect, so now that we've shaken our margarita, we're actually gonna be putting it in here. So for this one, I'm actually gonna be just adding to the rim a little bit of lime. I'm gonna be adding a speck. And now to this, we're just gonna be adding a couple ices. And we're just gonna be placing this right here. So we see how pretty it looks. So the next thing that we're gonna be making is a cantarito. For this, you actually don't need a shaker. So we're gonna start by putting some lime on here. And we're gonna be adding some ice to it, which I already did. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be just squirting one lime in here. And I always put it in here just so the flavor of the lime still kind of goes in there. I actually bought um, some red oranges. So it's this. So it's basically like a mixture of an orange and a grapefruit. And then I just do have my muddler in here. I just like to go with it just so all the citrus of the orange kind of goes in it. And then I'm also going to be adding some cut fruit into it. So it's going to look like this. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our tequila to it. So again, six counts of it. So I brought some grape, um, grapefruit juice and I'm just going to be adding just a little bit. And we're going to also be adding a couple of our orange juice. And we're gonna be topping it off with our squirt. And then just for the flavor of it, I like to add just a little bit more of tequila at the top. Now I'm gonna be grabbing some chamoy and I actually like putting a little bit in it and some tajita as well. 
And now just with our spoon, we're just gonna go ahead and perfect. Our cafecito is all ready to drink. So the next that we're gonna be doing is a mosca meal, but with tequila, so it's the Mexican mosca meal. That's what the actual name of it is. So I'm just gonna be grabbing a little cup like this. This is actually a glass that I got for my sister for her birthday, just so she can have her um, drinks in here. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add some ice to it. Usually for a Moscow meal, what you use is vodka. We're gonna be using tequila. One lime we're gonna be adding to this. And we're gonna be adding our ginger beer to it. And there we go, our Moscow meal is ready. The next thing that we're gonna be doing is a mojito, which usually for the mojitos what you use is rum, but we're actually gonna be using, again, tequila. We're gonna start with just adding some ice. I only added two ice cubes because mine are really big and it's gonna splatter all over my face if I do more ice in there. I just added some mint into here and we're gonna be adding some simple syrup. I just add, like to add just a little bit into it, like three seconds of just pouring it in there, just kind of coming in. Now we're gonna be grabbing a lime. Now the reason why I add a lime at this point is just so when I'm blending, it's actually easier to mix when I'm doing it than if I don't add any lime. At least for me, it just makes it a lot easier. And um, with this one, we're gonna be muddling it in here. So this is our modeler. Muddler. Is that okay? All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and model it in here. Perfect. Now that it's all muddled, so you see it in there, we're gonna be go ahead and adding a couple more ice. We're gonna be adding our tequila. We're gonna be adding a little bit of our sweet and sour mix to this. And now we're gonna go ahead and shake. So in the cup, we're just gonna be adding some ice to it. Now, for this one, I actually like to put our pour in here. A lot of people don't like to have mint in their drink. So you see everything else kind of just stays in there. And we're just gonna go ahead and top it up with some sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cut that. <laughs> I <am. laughs> All right, so we're just gonna be adding a little bit of our sparkling water into it. And our mojito is ready. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is a mango shot. So just in a shot glass, we're gonna be adding some chamoy and some tajin to the room. So just like that. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of chamoy at the bottom. A little bit of lemon, just a little bit of tajin. And in our mixer, we're gonna be adding the ice. The next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing a humix mango. About until it covers your eyes. And now we're gonna be adding six and six because we're just gonna be mixing here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shake it and I'm just gonna hold it on from here just because of not the top of the so I like this one just because it's gonna be easier to pour it in the shot. So we got our two shot glasses ready, and now we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Put it right here before I drop it. All right guys, so we actually have all of our drinks already made. Right here we have the banderita. We have the cantarito our mojito, our pineapple margarita, our shots of mango, and our tequila. So we got everything all ready. All right, guys, so we brought in the borrachito. So he's gonna be the one that's gonna be trying all of our drinks. This is my cuñado, it's my brother-in-law. <laughs> he's actually been drinking already, but he's not that drunk, he's just acting, guys. My <laughs> pulque? We're gonna be starting with the bandera shots. So it's lime, tequila, and sangria. So we're gonna be taking first the lime, then the tequila, and then the sangria. No puedes alzar todo así. Pues si quieres, pero se va a caer todo. No, pero ponemos poco. 
popotitos. Come on. Ready? You're gonna take the lime first. Tequila. And sangria. What did you think of the mandera shot? Falta la muchacha. La de la bandera. Ay, Eri. We're going on to the next thing. So this is a pineapple roasted margarita. Try it. <laughs> you don't have to drink it all, but you have to try it. Cha 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 cha. Sorry guys, I'm really short and like you couldn't see me. Oh my god. <laughs> Es que con el alcohol se me parece. Más no digan, ¿eh? So, what did you think? It's good? It's bomb? Yeah. Cool. No so, quedar. yeah, you could drink it afterwards, but you're gonna try the other ones first. Now, this is the Mexican mojito. ¿Y por qué tiene que ser mexicano mojado? No es mojado, es mojito. ¿Por qué no puede ser? Mexicano ciudadano. ¿Por qué el huevo tiene que ser mojado? ¿Sí ves? El pinche racismo. Entre la gente. Por eso no crecemos. ¿Sí Entonces, ves? ¿qué hacemos nosotros? Supérate. Supérate. Ya estás como trompa. Sí. sí. Yo los apoyo, raza. ¿Sí? Unidos somos la fuerza. Me lo voy a chingar por ustedes. Ah, bueno, para los que estén a dieta. El mexican más comió. Sí, se lo recomiendo. Esperen. Ya, yeah, yeah. se lo recomiendo, raza. El siguiente va a ser el cantarito. ¿Cuál es? El cantarito. Cuando se me está reconocido. Esto los pone lleno en los mariscos. Me los hace mejor ella. The last one is gonna be the mango shop. And I have like four of these, so you're gonna have to take all of them. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. Cheers first. Oh. Salud, raza. Salud. Que estén bien. Cuídense. A ver. Cubrebocas. Ok. A mí me tocó con la chaparrita, así que mira, no me alcanza. Así que no se preocupen. Cheers. So what did you think? Oh, está bueno. Oh, no lo sabía. Si no nos decía que estaba bueno, ni vamos a saber. Ya te puedes sacar los otros chips. Come solo. Raza, se lo recomiendo. Síganla. Es una borrachita, pero... ¿Qué lo vamos a hacer? Hace buenas bebidas. Por eso soy borrachita, porque hago buenas bebidas. Ahora les doy un baile. Sí, sí, sí. I think no one's ready for that. No. Alright, guys. So that was all of our video today. Um... I'm gonna be linking all of the recipes down low. As you saw on the screen, they were actually up there for you guys as well. Um, anything else, if you guys would like for me to do more drinks ideas or more drink mixes for you guys, uh, please go ahead and let me know and I'll definitely be doing that for you guys. Um, I actually had the idea of doing a summer drinks. So if you guys would like for me to do some summer drinks for you guys, then go ahead and let me know. All right guys, until the next one, bye.